Tim Leonard back on the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier. And it's time for another series preview as the Nationals homestand continues after welcoming back Juan Soto and Josh Bell in a series where the Nationals took one of three from the Padres this past weekend. San Diego won the rubber match 6 to nothing on Sunday. The Nats mustered just three hits off Blake Snell, who struck out 10 Washington batters over six scoreless innings. Paulo Espino allowed four runs over five and two-thirds innings of work on Sunday. Espino is still looking for his first win of the year. So the Padres win the series, despite Juan Soto and Josh Bell being held to a combined four for 25 over the weekend in their return. Now the homestand continues, three games against the Cubs. Chicago is 47 and 66 on the year. They sit in third place in the NL Central right now. The Cubs just took two of three from the Nationals in Wrigley in a three-game set to start last week. This series should mark the Nationals' debut for shortstop C.J. Abrams. The 21-year-old is the top prospect in the Nationals' organization after coming over in the deadline deal with the Padres. Abrams played 46 games earlier this year for the Padres. He hit 232 in his first taste of the big leagues. The young shortstop has hit 290 in eight games with the Nationals' AAA team in Rochester since the trade. As for the pitching matchup for the opener, Josiah Gray gets the ball tonight for Washington. It'll be the second straight start against the Cubs for Gray. He allowed just two runs over six and a third innings of work at Wrigley last week. This time he is set to face Chicago's Marcus Stroman. Stroman has pitched to a 4-2-0 ERA this year for the Cubs. The 31-year-old was drafted by the Nationals out of high school in 2009 but opted to go to college at Duke instead. That'll wrap things up for the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.